Hey guys welcome to another tutorial and today we are going to learn how to create this simple and decent web banner design all in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. First go to file, and create a new artboard with these dimensions. You can also choose any other dimensions that you like. Then select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Make sure that its fill color is set to white. Then from the shape tool, select the ellipse tool. And create a circle while holding shift. Change its color to a nice green shade. Note down these RGB colors for this green shade. Create a copy of this circle for later use. Now select the rectangle tool. And create a rectangle having width equal to the circle. Adjust the length of the rectangle. Select both the shapes, and in the Pathfinder window, click on Unite to join them. Rotate the shape and adjust it on the right side of the artboard. Make slight adjustments according to your need. Now we will place an image of some food here. You can use any image that you like. Adjust the food image in the background shape. Now it's time to add some text. We will write some headline text for our banner. The font used here is Poppins. But you can use any suitable font. Change its weight to bold. Change its color to the same green shade. Now add a text box and copy some random text in it. You can go to lipsum.com to copy some lorem ipsum text. Adjust the font weight and size. decrease its opacity to around 70%, so that our headline text is more appropriate than this paragraph text. And from the character panel, set the leading to a suitable number. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle. Copy some text for this small rectangle. Right click on this and bring it to front. And change its color to white. Adjust the alignment and font size. Bring this text to the center of the rectangle. Select the rectangle. 
go to effect, stylize and round corners. Select a small value and hit OK. Align this button with the text. Adjust the spacing for the remaining text. Add some contact info here. Align it to the center of the green button and decrease the opacity. Now we will use this circle to add some extra shapes. Decrease its opacity to 15. And place it on some random area of the artboard. Create several copies and adjust them. Adjust them as you like. Use this remaining shape and write some text on it. Bring it to front. Select the text tool and add a discount offer. Adjust this text in the circle. Now that you are satisfied with the adjustments, select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl, A, to select everything. Go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And here is the final output. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.